Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then spirit has a message for you. So if you're coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out of the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. I keep seeing this, this tower card, Gemini. There could be a Scorpio in your life. If not, there could just be something unexpected um, happening or happened already. But let's see. How does this person feel about Gemini? Cool. Okay, to get the five of wands, we got the two of wands. There's someone here, Gemini, who feels like no matter what, it's gonna be a fight. Whether, like, no matter what the conversation tries to be, no matter how they try to approach it, or like, even if that's not the case, there's someone here who feels like it's going to be a fight. There's someone here who doesn't want to fight with you, but who feels like it's going to end up that way anyway. Tell me more about the five of wands. <clears throat> we have the two of pentacles. You're getting two, two. Page of cups, page of swords, ace of pentacles. Someone wants to have a new beginning here with you. Someone wants to offer you something. They're very interested in you. It's just, there's a lot of back and forth between the two of you. I don't know if this is this person just contemplating coming towards you, feeling like it's going to be a fight. Maybe they feel like there's even competition for you because this page of swords is giving me like major, like seeing what you're up to vibes. Um, <clears throat> It's like someone wants to see the potential, like sees the potential in this, wants to see where it could go with this Ace of Pentacles, but also goes back and forth about it as well. They're definitely interested in you. They're definitely trying to see what you're up to. But there's this, there's this feeling of like it's going to be a fight or maybe there's other people involved. There's a competition or like something like that. Like it's like... It's almost like they, they've already made up their mind in some way. But they definitely want to offer you something here at the same time. So this could be someone who you almost feel is like giving you like mixed signals or like just doesn't prioritize the connection because it feels like as much as they want it, the same amount they're like, I don't know if this is going to work. Why the two of pentacles? Nine of pentacles. Yeah, it's like, so I feel like not only does this person act single and act like they don't need anyone they feel like you do they feel like you're in this energy of you don't need anyone you're very independent you're very self-sufficient it's almost like this person needs you to need them is what i'm getting when i pick up this nine of pentacles and because you don't or at least you act like you don't they're like what like they want to come forward and want to offer you something but at the same time it, they feel like it might not even be worth it it would be a fight in some way. I feel like this person's ego is kind of at play here. We have a lot of earth energy coming through. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me about the Page of Swords. I wasn't going to pull on that, but I feel like I need to. The Queen of Swords. You, you're you like very sure of what you want and what you don't want. I feel like you set boundaries. You You're very straightforward. And there's something about that that this person feels like they have to investigate it a little bit more. Like, why is Gemini so sure of that? Like, 
Why was that such a definitive answer? Why, you know, like they're, they're almost like taken aback by how firm you can be. It could feel like there's someone else involved, like because you're not taking their bait or you're not engaging in their back and forth behavior or you set a boundary around it, they're like, there must be someone else with that five of wands. But they still want you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, a little bit of air coming through. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions would this person take? We got the five of pentacles. We got the eight of cups. Like, what is this person doing? It's like they're spying on you. They think about coming forward. They think about having a new beginning here with you. They go back and forth. But in the next few weeks, they're acting distant. They're acting cold. They're acting unavailable here. They're acting like they're not even invested in the connection. I feel like there's a fear of abandonment with that five of pentacles. This is someone who feels like you're going to walk away anyway. You're getting five, five here as well. Look out for fives and twos. So this is someone who, it's like they've already made up their mind. They feel like it's going to be a fight already. They feel like it's going to be difficult already. You are this person who sets boundaries. This person knows this. It's like what intrigues them, but also makes them feel like this is going to be really difficult. Like it's strange behavior. I have to be honest with you. Tell me more about their actions. It looks like this person is just acting distant. What the hell? The Hierophant, the King of Swords. This person's acting like they don't care. Knight of Wands at the bottom. This person's acting like they don't care. They're going to act cold. They're going to act distant. They see you as the Queen of Swords. They see you as someone with firm boundaries. They see you as someone who's not putting up with any BS. So what are they doing? They're matching that energy. They're matching the energy. Even if this is, this is not going to resonate with everyone, but if you're already in some sort of connection with this person or some sort of commitment with this person, this person's going to act distant. This person's going to act like aloof, act like they're not invested in the connection anymore. If, if, if that's not the case, because we do have an ace here and this is someone brand new, it's like this person feels like they have to match your energy here. So it's like a stalemate almost. Like it's, even though they want a, some sort of commitment here with you, I'm going to pull on this Hierophant. They're acting like it, it's, it's nothing to them. Tell me about the Hierophant. We have Taurus energy here. Tell me about the Hierophant, please. The Emperor, yeah, Aries energy. This person's acting like they don't care. They're putting on, they're putting on a face like nothing bothers them. They're being really stubborn, to be honest with you. Doesn't mean they have to be a male with all this masculine energy coming through, but this is someone who's being really stubborn. Someone who's like, I'm going to play the game a little bit harder because they feel like it's a game. Even if you're just setting your boundary and you're like, this is just how I am. I'm just not going to put up with certain things. This person feels like it's a game. This person feels like there must be a reason behind that. There must be, maybe there's someone else involved or like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to match Gemini's energy just to see what they do like it's weird behavior here but at the end of the day I feel like this person's scared that you would leave them anyway so even if they did try and they did try to like put their ego aside which I don't feel like they would because I feel like this person's ego is like very much intact I mean we all have an ego but I feel like this person really operates from their ego like our ego the way you can think of your ego is say this is just an example say someone does something to hurt you your ego says how could they do that to me? Like that, this person, like, you know, they hurt me and then you try to figure it out and you rack your brain and you try to play games back. When you're not operating from your ego, the way you would see that situation is their behavior has nothing to do with me. Like they're projecting or like they're, you know, going through whatever they're going through. And it's not to excuse their behavior, it's just to understand it. So I feel like this person operates from their ego. Whatever you do, whatever you've been doing here, or you will be doing if you haven't met this person yet, you're like setting some sort of boundary with this person, they feel like you're doing it to them as opposed to this is just you standing up for yourself or, or whatever it might be. This person's very stubborn, very, very stubborn. But it's like, it's almost like they want to talk to you too. Tell me about the King of Swords, Five of Cups. <laughs> Look at all these fives coming. This is heavy energy. I feel like this person, like they're kicking themselves. It's like, it's almost like while they're doing what they're doing, they're, they're mad at themselves for doing it. So if they're ignoring you, say, say, okay, this is another example. I don't know who these are going to resonate with. Maybe no one, but these are what's coming through. Say this person sends you a text and you don't respond right away because you're busy. And it takes you like, I don't know, 24 hours to respond just because you're doing things and emergency happens or something like that. You finally respond. It's almost like this person's like, well, they took 24 hours to respond. I'm going to take 48 hours to respond back to Gemini. And while they're doing that, 
they're like kicking themselves for it. Like, why am I doing this? Like, I should just respond. I should just answer. But it's like, but I have to play this game. I have to like match that energy and do it even, even harder, even better, whatever, however you want to see it. This person's like, again, I, I think it could be helpful here, Gemini, to understand this person's behavior from a spiritual perspective of they're going through some things because all these fives coming out, a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges, a lot of changes here. This person's not doing it to you to like, it does, it does, okay, how do I put this? They're trying to get back at you, but don't look at it like this person's doing this to me because of something, because of something to do with me. They're doing this because this is how they operate internally. Like their system, their internal system is running on revenge, is running on matching energy. And that has nothing to do with you. I feel like this is per this is something, this is the type of energy this person's been in for a while. I really hope I'm explaining that in the right way. Sometimes I see things like, oops, visually, or I just feel things and it's hard to get them out into words. But this person's behavior has nothing to do with you as a person is basically what I'm trying to say here. Um, <clears throat> so it's like, even though this person could want some sort of level of commitment here with you, they're being really stubborn. They're being really cold the next few weeks. They're acting distant. They're acting, like, they're acting like they don't care. So let's see their intentions, like their true, true intentions. What is this person's intentions with Gemini, please? Okay. Look okay. at Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands. This person wants you, but they're going to act like they don't. Tell me more. They don't want you to know. Nine of Swords. They're just sitting in anxiety, sitting in what if, sitting if, sitting in thinking about the situation. We got the Seven of Pentacles. It's like this person can actually see themselves investing in this, but at the same time, they're like, Queen. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. So yeah, Seven of Wands. It's like all this defensive behavior. You're getting Seven Seven here. This per. It's almost like this person feels like they have to protect themselves from you protect themselves from your energy, from things you might say, because I feel like the things you say, Gemini, really hit home for this person. And maybe you're just speaking facts because the, the queen of swords is no BS. I feel like you just sort of say things very straightforward to this person, maybe in a way that they're not used to hearing. And that's not to tell you to stop what you're doing. It's just, a, it's almost like a wake up call for this person. Not even a wake up call. It just feels like a slap in the face. And then they look at it like, oh, they're going to do that to me. I'm going to do it even harder. Instead of actually reflecting on what you're saying and taking it in and trying to change, this person looks at it like, I got, I got to protect myself from, from Gemini. So I do love readings. Love can obviously be romantic, but this could be a, we can love our friends. We can love our family, right? So take it as it resonates as to who this might be in your life. But there's someone here who like, you actually really inspire this person with the Ace of Wands. And it's almost like they want to just sort of uh, run with that feeling. But they get defensive at the same time. There's, it's, like, it's like that back and forth. There's a part of them that feels like they could go for this and invest in this and make it work. Maybe even invest in themselves, work on their anxiety here. And then there's another part of them that's like, oh, Gemini's just being mean. Or you know, I got to get them back for what they said. It's like, it's so weird. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Yeah, look at that devil. Capricorn energy. So if this is something romantic, this person is definitely very physically attracted to you. I feel like it's almost like a little bit of obsession here. Um, they think about it a lot. If you've already been physical with this person, I feel like they think about it a lot so if you have dreams of this person in a physical manner i feel like they're dreaming about you i'm getting that very strongly here um but i'm also getting i feel like this person uses their looks or their charm or like like lusty behavior to try and like lure people in and maybe that's what they tried with you and it's not working and then it causes them to spin into anxiety, like, oh, what's wrong with me? Or like, oh, like, Gemini's are worse. Like, they don't even see what, you know what I mean? Like, this person's just, there's no cups here. There's no emotion here. I feel like it's all games. Like, I feel like this person's just like, they're all up in their head. And it's all about, it's all about getting back, like, verbally. And then there, there could be like, I don't know why I'm getting this, but this person could be like very materialistic.
Um, tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Five of Wands. It's all the same energy. This is someone who like fights the urge to invest in this, but I feel like also invest in themselves. So that could be like getting therapy, reflecting. Like I feel like this person avoids the very thing that you point out. So if you say something like, oh, you know, you, I noticed this pattern with you and I'm not going to put up with that. Instead of this person saying, oh, wow, I didn't realize I did that. Okay, let me like work on that. They're like me pattern, you pattern. And then they'll like, I'll show you pattern. Like, that's what I'm getting from this person. They look at it like they have to fight you in some way. Maybe not physically, but you know. Okay, so what's the potential outcome between Gemini and this person? Because this looks weird. Oh my gosh. We have the lovers and we have the world. <laughs> Tell me more about the lovers. This per this So this person actually has very strong feelings for you. but they're not going to tell you. They want to stay stuck in this cycle. So if this is a romantic interest, this person could even be in love with you, but they're not going to tell you. They don't want you to know about this. They feel like that would give you power because again, this person's operating from the ego. Instead of just embracing how they feel and going for it and working on the things they need to work on, they look at it like, if I tell Gemini I'm actually in love with them, they now have all the power. The ball's in their court and they don't like that. So there's cycles here repeating with this person. I feel like they're just sort of hiding how they feel they, there could even be like another choice involved here with this seven of swords the lovers and they're just like not tell me more about the lovers and the seven of swords and they're not saying anything look at this king of swords same energy and the high priestess yeah this person's no this person's staying quiet stalemate with this person i don't feel like if there's another i wanted to pull just to make sure i don't feel like there's another energy i mean there could be but i feel like this person is just we have pisces energy here is someone just staying quiet with the king of swords high priestess they're they're like it's like stalemate it's like you're gonna gemini is gonna stay quiet gemini is gonna set a boundary let me set an even bigger boundary i'm gonna go silent i'm never gonna tell them how i actually feel so if you have a, if you have someone in your life who you feel like you're, you're almost like frustrated with the fact that they won't open up or they won't see things from your perspective i feel like it's gonna continue that way this person keeps lying to you and to themselves <clears throat> about what they really want and what they need to do tell me about how, like how will gemini know who this is there's that tower energy could be a scorpio six of swords tell me more you know what i get from this i feel like this is the type of person where like you'll be in this stalemate energy and then out of nowhere they'll be like can we just be good can we just move on and they don't actually want to sit down and like talk about what happened or like res like properly resolve it they just want to be like look like, can we just move forward so i don't know if this is a friend or a family member or like i said or it could be a romantic partner someone who like there's a cycle here with this person is what i'm getting and if you haven't met this person yet because we do have those two aces it could be someone new but they could remind you of someone else because i feel like with that world card i'm, I'm getting like uh you know what i'm seeing i'm seeing like people do like that double double dutch like skip row and it's almost like you're stuck in it with this person and so you have to be the one to jump out of it but jumping out of it can you could be like is the rope gonna hit me like am i gonna get tangled in this like sometimes it could feel like it's hard to jump out of it so i feel like there's a cycle with this person where like they do this weird weirdness and then all of a sudden they're like can we just be good anything else for who this person is the king of cups knight of swords so this person does have like they do care about you but they're impulsive this is someone who just says things that they, they don't even think it through. And it might be frustrating for you because you're like, I know that this person cares, but the way that they act, they act so cold. We literally got the king and queen of swords twice from two different decks. This is like this person being like, again, you go silent, I'll stay silent longer. You set a boundary, I'll set an even bigger boundary. I'm going to stay quiet about how I actually feel. This person is not, not going to open up. So if you're hoping for an open, honest conversation with this person, Gemini, I have, I'm, I have to be honest, it's not happening. Any advice for Gemini? Page of Wands. The Magician. I almost thought that was the Ten of Swords. I don't know why. The Hierophant. We have Gemini, Libra, Taurus energy. Two of Wands. 
I feel like you're gonna kind of always gonna be waiting. If you're really trying to manifest higher level of commitment with this person, they're coming through it, like all these pages coming through too. And again, I feel like it kind of always just stays at a certain level with this person. It doesn't really progress because of this stalemate energy. So if you're sitting there like, but this is my person, I'm really trying to manifest some sort of higher level of commitment. I don't feel like this is it. I feel like you're gonna kind of always be waiting with this person. It's always like something out there. So if you truly want commitment and you truly want someone who's committed to you, it might have to be like about letting this person go. Tell me more about advice. Three of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's just gonna, it's gonna take really long to get there. A really long time to get there, Gemini, with this person. So it, obviously it's your call, even if it is like, say, even if it is like a friend or family and you're like, okay, well, I can't just give up on them, but it's going to take a long time to get wherever you're trying to get with this person. Cause they're, they're stubborn and they see it as a fight. Okay. Any, any messages for Gemini? Give it time. Everything in divine timing, let things flow. So for those of you who want to give it time, I mean, there's your message right there. Right. But even with that little plant on on this card it's like seeds take time to grow you got the knight of pentacles that's the slowest moving energy in the deck right so you did get pregnancy someone is expecting i mean it came out for a reason and then we got gold digger they want your money being used so i don't know if this i, I did pick up i feel like this person could be like a little bit like materialistic here so Take it only if it resonates. And then we got Mercury Retrograde. Electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. But I mean, the rep retrograde energy, I was just about to say, obviously, okay, I'm just going to say it first. The retrograde energy for me is like the past coming back or old energy coming back. Or even if this is a brand new person um, who reminds you of a past energy coming back. And then look at the card that's flipped at the, at the back. It says they'll be back expect to hear from them soon, right? So this doesn't necessarily have to be someone um, from your past because the Six of Cups didn't come out, but it could just be someone who reminds you of an old cycle or it could actually be someone but from your past. But let's see, any hidden messages for Gemini? My mask keeps me safe. I need to fake my feelings. So this person wears a mask. They don't show their feelings. That seven of swords and the potential. They're hiding how they truly feel and it keeps them safe. They feel like if they were to open up and be vulnerable, then you have the power and they don't want you to have the power. Sorry about that, Gemini. Okay, so then it says, I have lost faith in you and cannot see a future with you anymore. It says there, there's a big hole in my heart that I cannot fill on my own. So you, you do fill this person up in some way emotionally, but they will never admit it. I remember every detail of that day. I know what I'm doing. I play dumb to keep you confused. So this person is very aware of their weirdness. Um, I'm not sure I can meet your expectations. The pressure is too much for me. I feel unbalanced and uneasy. I don't know what to do to fix it. Person's all over the place, to be honest with you, Gemini. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Look at this, be assertive. <laughs> so that there's that Queen of Swords energy. It's literally, if you haven't been with this person, I feel like you need to be, because this is the type of person that will like keep pushing until you in, until you let them. They're not gonna stop and acknowledge how much they're pushing on their own. We got self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And we got discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So, and then I see loneliness. So if there's something about this connection that like gets at your self-esteem in some way, or maybe you do with this person, because like I said, I feel like you're very straightforward and there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like it makes this person feel like they have to get back at you in some way. Um... Don't let it affect your self-esteem because you're doing what you have to do. We have a win-win outcome is forecast, Libra energy. So I think that spirit saying no matter what, it's going to work out here. The energy is gaining momentum and a new start is coming. Let me just pull on this because I feel like this could be something else. Tell me about the energy is gaining momentum and a new start. This is just say a win-win outcome. Look at that. Ten of cups. Wow. Tell me more. So there's definitely something very emotionally fulfilling here coming on in we got the five of pentacles we 
you got the eight of wands it's almost like when as soon as you move past this energy of feeling like left out in the cold or like not good enough with this other person yeah ten of swords it's like that transforms into something new here taking a leap of faith towards something new here even if it is just by yourself it's like the emotional fulfillment of like not feeling stuck in this energy or stuck with this type of energy it's like once that's moved past and once that's done look at it, ten of swords ten of cups we have ten ten here it's like something needs to end for this to come about and so if you're sitting there like there's nothing in my life right now it's almost like you need to go through whatever this weird thing is with this new person or an old person there's something to be learned here i feel like it's about abandonment or it's a, it's about putting in more than what you get and so moving past that brings this new start tell me about the ten of cups and that energy is gaining momentum we have the knight of wands the hanged man something you're passionate two oof, two of cups seven of cups yeah you're gonna have choices here you are going to have choices here for sure, Gemini. Could be another Pisces. It's going to make you look at things completely different from a different perspective. I feel like what, whoever this person is coming in, or maybe you already know who it is, they're, they're opening your eyes to, you know those, you know those uh, I don't know, those trick pictures where you can see it one way and as soon as you see it the other way it's like you can't unsee it you're like oh now forever like oh, whenever I look at it that that's almost like what this person's doing so if you have the mentality of I've already learned every lesson I need to learn then that's why this universe is bringing it about to you because there there is something you you're not seeing right we have to acknowledge that we a wise person knows they know nothing right so that's kind of what I'm getting here like there's something that shifts your perspective here you see something completely different and then it brings in this like new opportunity and you're gonna have choices maybe even more than one than, than this person and another person but there's a soulmate connection coming in here tell me more about that two of cups because I know people want to know about the new Oof, we got the emperor and the hermit there's a very like wise energy coming in here could be older than you could be a virgo or an aries You know what? And I have to be honest with you. Was with for some of you, this is this person coming around. For those of you that feel like it's worth the wait, if you're sitting there like this is not worth the wait, I would not put my energy into that. Then so be it, right? Either way, a new start is coming. But for some of you, it's this person coming around. There's like a there's like a period of not speaking, of hermit mode, of sort of you know uh, going inwards, and then coming out like a new person here either way this connection whatever this is is meant to show you a different way of seeing and this person hopefully but it's going to take some time to get there <clears throat> so you get to decide like it's totally up to you any messages for gemini yes lots of them we have exchanging gifts come to the edge oops sorry and buy the book 27, 36, 11. Let's read these. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let flow out of let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. So what I was getting, like especially with that five of pentacles in your um, mm -mm, advice, if this is a type of connection or you've been in this type of connection where it's like you're the one always giving, I feel like that might be the lesson you have to learn that you can't always be the giver. You have to be the receiver at times too. <clears throat> even if it is to open up to something new here so then we also got come to the edge where it says it's scary to be truly intimate with someone to allow them to see all of you especially the parts you've kept hidden and protected now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen truly seen it's important that you speak up voice what you need state who you are and say what you hope for this is not the time to play it safe but to take a leap of faith you will be glad you did 
If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. There's, there's just a strong message here of like speaking up and saying what you need to say. Especially with this person. This first person. We got getting along with others entails understanding and respecting who they have become as a result of their environment, their culture, and their experience. Find the middle ground that allows the relationship to flourish while honoring the individuality of the other person. Play things by the book instead of trying to break the rules or pressure others to conform to the way you want to do them. Your connection will deepen as a result. I have to be honest with you, like for some of you, this is like about the compromise and a new start coming with this person because they came through as the emperor. But I feel like there's going to be a period of like not speaking. I have to be honest with you. So it's not going to happen right away. So you just have to decide if it's worth the wait or not. Um, for others of you, I feel like there is going to be choices here with that seven of cups and you get to decide what works for you. So obviously that feels a little bit confusing there, Gemini, like who is it? Which way should I go? I completely understand. Um, if you want, check out my description or check out the description box down below. There's a link for uh, Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic um, of your choice. And then your first five minutes with this love psychic is completely free. And then I also have a code there for 10% off. So um, you could check that out if, if you're still looking for answers. I'm also going to try and go live maybe this Sunday. I can't guarantee it just because of my schedule, but um, try to go live maybe this Sunday to answer super chats. So make sure you have uh, the notification bell turned on and I'll try and get that done. But anyways, we only got letters today. So these could be initials of you, of this person. Maybe if there is more than one person here, um, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got B, O, X, B, U, N, Z or Z and L. Okay, Gemini, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Sending you so much love and light.